Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is our lesson 14 on test project automation tool concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to concentrate on the concepts of GitHub integration. So I'm going to teach you how can we integrate GitHub with test project and then how can you maintain the version control of your project artifacts. Okay, so please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. Before you watch this session, I would suggest you guys to visit my previous 13 YouTube videos, uh, all these 13 lessons, so that you can understand more on lesson 14 concepts. Thank you. So, how can we perform GitHub integration, Git or GitHub integration with test project? So it's really, really very simple. Uh, we need to perform three steps to integrate our test project with a GitHub. So before I explain that, why do we need GitHub? Why do we need to integrate GitHub with test project? Because the test project does not have the version controlling. That means, if multiple team members working on the same project, so you then the code changes whatever you perform or whatever the automation progress happens with the multiple team members. So the versioning, the version control is not available in test project. Let's assume the team member A started working on this project. He automated some of the test cases. And let's say the team member B made some changes to the same test cases, whatever he automated and the script got corrupted. So now you can, you cannot roll back the automation to the previous state because this does not have version controlling. So, and hence for the easy maintenance for the version controlling, we need to integrate your test project automation tool with Git. Okay. So what are all the steps that we need to perform? First, we need to enable Git integration in test project. How should we perform? I'm going to show you. And then we need to create a personal access token from GitHub so that you can use that personal access token while integrating with the test project. So how can you create a personal personal access token in GitHub? I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to show you creating personal personal access token and then using that personal access token while integrating Git with test project. Okay. And then you will be providing access to the required project within the test project. If you want to provide access for all the projects within the test project, you can provide. But if you want to provide access to the specific project, you can provide uh, this to the specific project as well. Okay. So hope, so let me now, uh, without delay, let me show you how can we perform all these actions with an example. Okay. By using test project tool. Okay. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these actions. Okay. By using test project and the GitHub. Okay. So this is my test project, okay, where I have one test case, I mean, I have created one project called HRM project, okay, this is my project, where we automated a lot of test cases in our previous sessions, out of which, uh, let's assume this is our free test, uh, where we have, uh, let me show you, where we have automated one test case, where I'll be entering my username, I'll be entering the password, and then click on login, right? Okay, I'm entering the password and then just click on login and then just click on logout. Okay, so this is one uh, test case that we already automated. Okay, and also we automated orange, uh, free HRM orange uh, application as well. Okay, so for this session, we are going to work on this free test project. Okay, so now, so as you know, first we need to integrate GitHub. Okay, for that, let me just log into my GitHub. This is my GitHub, okay, where I have all these repositories, okay. So all these repositories we already have, okay. 
So now let me first to integrate GitHub. First, you need to enable your Git integration. Okay, for that you need to navigate to integrations. So as soon as you navigate to integrations, you can see a Git option here. Okay, click on Git under integrations, and if see here git integration so you need to enable this github integration click this as soon as you enable it will ask you to enter your organization name okay so here i just want to provide okay let me provide test project some something i can provide my organization name or username because i am using access key i need not to provide username okay so here i will specify as test project sample test test project sample test okay and the access key so we need to create an access key so for that let me go back to github and here you need to go to settings okay from settings you need to go to your developer settings okay here you can create a personal access tokens so why do you need personal personal access token because it is for the security purpose you need to create a new personal access token and use the token to integrate with your other tools like test project okay and here let's create a new github okay let me create a new personal access token here if you see here if you click on personal access token it will show you your previous personal access tokens so i already created one personal access token for catalon integration so I already pub I'm also publishing the YouTube videos on Catalan as well. Okay. So now let me create another new token. Okay. Create new token. Just may name this as test project token. Okay. And expiration date, no expiration date. Okay. And I want to enable for this repositories. And also I now I want to enable this for uh, probably uh, delete packages and then I want to enable this for delete repos and then also admin repo hooks okay so this is what I can I want to allow okay and then save this generate token you have to create generate token as soon as you create generate token it creates one token okay now you can copy this token and you can use this token here okay so here I'll say test project login test. That's what we can do. Okay. So in here I'm providing the access token just now we generated. And then click on next button. And now it is asking you me, asking you in test project, for which project do you want to provide the access? So for now I want to provide the access for all the projects. Currently, we are working on this HRM project, right? You can provide access to only one project, okay? Now, I want to provide access to all the projects, GitHub integration, okay, for all the projects. And then click on save. So, as soon as you click on save, okay, okay, incorrect site or key or organization, okay, let me go back here again, okay? Let's again do one thing. Let me provide my username here instead of organization. Okay. Okay. And then click next. Let me provide the access key. Oh, sorry. Let me provide the org name as this. Okay. My username. Click next. All. Save. So if you see now my GitHub integration has been enabled. So let me go back to project. So if you go back to project now, so if you see here, let's select this. If you see here, now you can see that the Git has been enabled. If you see here, the Git has been enabled, correct? So let me just refresh this again. I'm just refreshing the project, okay, test project. And here, if you see here, the git symbol is there. That means my HRM project is now enabled the git integration. Okay. So now what is our, this is our test, right? Let me open this test and let me just run this test for 
before running this let me show you one more thing okay if you go back to this free test now if i hover on this you can see now show history see i can see the history here now because as soon as you enable your git integration by default it's going to commit the initial it's going to sync it start the syncing process so this is our first sync process here okay couple of minutes committed a minute ago okay let's click okay that's fine so now let me do one quick change here okay go to project let me just um, click on okay click on this right here i want to provide some comments here okay git integration okay save this step and then save and exit so if you see here now now if i go to my show history it should show me two commits so if you see here i have made another commit here earlier initial syncing this is my new commit okay and then if i click on this uh, commit branch okay if i click on this open github i can see that see here i can see there is a small change happened here right on so and so date what is the change see the comments this is the comment i have provided right so it's showing with me the changes okay let's go back here if you see here a new repository has been created automatically if i go back to repositories right this hrm project private this repository also created automatically i have not created this repository as soon as i enabled the integration a new repository with the same project name has been created here correct so done so now let's let me do one thing let me run this uh, test here okay so let me run this test by using chrome okay just observe while running what are, what is the data it is entering okay so it's going to start your uh, chrome browser and then it's going to enter your username and the password okay so now it's opened the this one and the username it is entering as ravikant right and the password and login log out now i want to change the username here let me do one thing let me change the username here okay the username i want to change it as chandrakant okay instead of ravikant now i want to change it as chandrakant okay save the step and save and exit now let's go back to your show history if you see the history a new commit has been updated right now i want to see what is the commit that made in the git repository open this if you see here what is the time so this is the time we made a commit right modification date is changed what is the change so my initial value is ravikant now the new value is chandrakant right so now let's go back to the hrm project now the repository whatever we see here right this is a new repository which is 36 seconds ago what is the change we made we made the change to this cross browser parallel test if i open here now i can see the keyword as chandrakant instead of ravikant right see the value input value is chandrakant now it's not ravikant right so let's go back here again so now let me click on okay so when i run this test now it should enter the username as chandrakant okay let me see now so why i am explaining this because now let's assume one of your team member changed the code and he made changes to the code in a such a way that the script stopped working that means he made some mistake which is not 
valid okay and and the script start stopped working so let's assume so now the script is working fine now i want to roll back i want to run my previous version code i want to run my previous version code where the username is entering as ravikant right what should i do so again you need to go back to your show history if you see here this is my latest one where i have changed it to uh, chandrakant but this is my previous one right so now what i can do is i can download this code download click on download as soon as you click on download a yaml file will be downloaded yaml file will be downloaded let's download into uh let's make yeah you can just keep as it is okay i just downloaded here and let me rename this okay let me rename this instead of this longer name i want to rename this as something like uh previous version okay i'm i'm going to rename that okay so now i downloaded this now i want to run this how open the command prompt and then navigate to downloads right and now here you need to drag and drop your yaml file here so basically you will be providing the path of your yaml file either you can directly provide the path or you can just drag and drop here oh sorry instead of drag and drop first we need to enter the com um, command stating that test project agent see test project hyphen agent space run now what do you want to run i want to run this yaml file right drag and drop here done and then click enter so as soon as you click enter it starts running the previous version if you see processing execution now it should start my previous script not the latest script okay i have downloaded the previous script and then i'm executing it okay processing execution it should open the chrome browser now see it opened the chrome browser now it should enter ravikant instead of chandrakant see it entered ravikant that means we are entering the previous version instead of the latest version right done so that means this is the way you can maintain the version history within the github right you can have github so i have a entire code base here so if you want to run from anywhere and then you made changes to the script and the latest changes will be automatically synced to your repository right and also you can basically revert the code back to anywhere you want okay and also if you see here if i expand here i can see all the kit integration symbols for all the projects because i have selected all the projects while integration right so that is one more thing and and this is show history and if you want to stop um, git integration you can stop git integration as well okay so where how let's say i want to stop git syncing basically i don't want to sync the code with the git then you just click on here and select stop git sync what happens as soon as you click stop git sync it's going to stop syncing your code with the github okay so this is really very helpful in version controlling right and team management okay so if you have any queries please provide your comments in the comment box i'm going to reply to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts thank you